Hey guys, and we're back with another episode of Skyrim. And oh, we've got a really good part here. We're about Not to meet today. the Greybeards. Climbing the 7,000 steps. The That's a good work safe. out there. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. This uh, this guy's a bit I rude. I make my he's not looking at the bloke. He's talking to. The road's getting dangerous. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar. Yes. About to make a delivery up there myself. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I reckon it would. Really? You walk 14,000 well, steps. Here, once up, once down. Take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Lug just day. Just the bag inside, and you're done. Lug day. <laughs> I don't well, think these like the occasional day. wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of Methuen, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, okay then. They, would. they seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Be careful right. up there. But to get all the way up there, and I need to write down, don't piss off the Greybeards. Because <laughs> I will probably be killed if I piss off the Greybeards. So well, let's start. Ooh, what's this? All right, interesting. So, emblem one. So there must be more. Let's keep going. What the? F Holy shit! That is a spider. You know, I think they might have got these um, spiders from Australia because of how big, terrifying, and stupidly, stupidly scary they are. Right. Let's keep going. Spider. Ooh, another one. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. Strange I days. I wonder what it means. I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. They're not the sort to take visitors, but I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. I. All right, let's read this emblem. Emblem number two. All right, let's continue. I pretty much skipped all that because nothing happened. Literally nothing happened. It was just two minutes of me walking up a mountain with nothing interesting happened. So we read the emblem number three. Let's just let's just keep going. And it's quite stupid how many bits there actually keep are where you just walk in for a good minute or so. I was I've just had to outside edit crap. when it happened. I'm probably gonna have to it's an exciting moment. Nothing like this edit has a happened crap load of it out. We just walk in and nothing just happens. Pilgrim. You just I'd walk look at the stairs. That, if you don't mind. Walking the steps, meditating. There are the quite emblems. a lot of pilgrims here. I make this up trip on the every few years. Because that's Until what they. Next time. That's what they call them. Because pretty much pilgrims make the journey up here just to meditate on these emblems. And um, walk the steps. Uh, let's 
put the uh, bow on. that thing up there? What the fuck is that? Oh my god. That is a troll. Frost troll. Alright. Twice. And he's fallen down. Ooh, there he is. Got him. I only got one arrow back from that. <laughs> Increase the health. Ooh, don't want to get destruction. Uh, nah. Nah, I won't get destruction. I'll get... Uh, I'll, I'll increase the, um, my light armor. God, look at this one. This one's pretty much over the edge of a cliff. Okay. Yada yada yada. Right, let's let's have a look at whole. Oh, oh damn, you be dead. This bit of feel like a bit of skydiving. I sure as hell don't. Probably get your face remodeled if you fall down there. It's another one. There's another one. Uh, em uh, emblem. Christ, I can't even speak. That's um, that's Talos. With the, with the snake. He's putting his sword through the head of a snake. Not a bad little uh, castle or. They call it monastery. And last one, emblem. Wait, do I? S do I still have the fake one on? Or did I change it? Nah, I still got the thief. So this is the offering chest. Let's oh, get out of apparel. Some supplies won't be in apparel. And there we go. It's done. 
let's, let's get inside. Alright, so, um, oh. Right, one, two, three. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. All right. So you just want me to shadow him? Oof! Right up. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Because you called me here, didn't you? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in high Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. All right. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. Right. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. You have shown that you Start are then. born. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? That remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thune. I swear a lot of things where you just learn now something start without your training. And able to learn. When you shout speak in the language of dragons. Well, I'm good example Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability wait, just wait to learn stalker. words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. And as you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Yeah, Ro one green means balance Fuck. the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, Force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Damn, that cut me off, doesn't he? Anyway, one good example of Spyro, a new beginning, where you pretty much learn the, um, the fire... The fire breath, without even training. And then you learn all the other... And then you learn all the other breaths. Like, um, you got fire, lightning, ice, and earth. Without even training, it just happens. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Shout to strike the targets as they appear. Okay. Well done. Again. 
Damn one to go. Come on. Learn quickly. Once more. Eek. Go. Go. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow All right. Master Boy. Bory. Let's go. Just have a look. Side. Wait, what? There's something up there? Holy crap. Fuck. There's even more of this fucking mountain? We will now see how you learn a completely new shot. Master Bori will teach you wool, which means whirlwind. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. X. Wolf. Now your turn. Holy crap! Stand next to me. Master so this yeah pretty much makes you use same bolt. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. You are now ready. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, Jürgen. from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice. Will return. When they have some pretty creative names on this game, like um, Jürgen. I mean, the only person in, that I know is name is Klopp. Jürgen Klopp is the um, manager for Liverpool, and he's quite a good manager too. Need a ride? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Bit of a trivia there. Climb and back and we'll be off. You ever met one of them cats? Cats. The G, I think they call themselves. I hear there's whole I thought they were just cats. Okay, we're in Morthar now. And so let's go over here. Let's, let's have a chat with this bloke. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable. No, warriors. don't care. You think you've got what it takes? <laughs> I was like, I was so enthusiastic about talking to him, and he was like, "Nope." Where, okay. are, the, where are these vampires coming from? We need to find vampire them. places. All right, so um, that's going to be the end of the video for today. It's a bit of a 
It's not really an ending, because it doesn't really have uh, some sort of way to stop, but next video will be me going through all the, um, all the all sing grav. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, leave a comment down below, and yeah, thanks for watching.